Hey everyone, my name is Deep Patria. I'm currently a pulmonary and critical care fellow in New York City. With this video, we're now going to introduce desynchrony. Now, I want to warn you not to continue with this video or the future videos if you have not come to a full understanding of the content in the prior videos, particularly parts one through seven the intro, trigger, target, cycle, baseline, the recap, and loops. The rest of the videos in this lecture series are based on the understanding that you have a strong grasp on those fundamental concepts. So moving forward, the concepts will be more complex. So if you need to review those videos so you don't get lost, please go ahead and do so. Otherwise, let's start with the introduction to desynchrony. Now desynchrony occurs at one of the stages of the mechanical breath. So if you have trigger desynchrony, it occurs here. If you have target desynchrony, it occurs here. And if you have cycle desynchrony, it occurs here. Each of these three desynchronies have a subset of desynchronies associated with them. So if you can identify which phase the desynchrony is occurring, that will narrow your differential and ultimately impact your management. So it's crucial to identify which phase the desynchrony is occurring. Now, which phase is the desynchrony occurring? Now, like I mentioned in prior videos, don't read waveforms up and down. Read them left to right. That way, you don't miss anything and it's not too overwhelming. Now let's take a look. There's a negative deflection right here in the pressure scalar. What does that mean? A negative deflection in the pressure scalar means inspiration. Now the patient is inspiring, but there's no breath being triggered. This is an issue with trigger. Therefore, this is a trigger to synchrony. Now moving along here, this breath is being triggered and the trigger variable is time because there's no negative deflection. So trigger is not an issue, but once it's triggered, the issue arises right here during the target phase. Therefore, this is a target desynchrony. Now continue along here, another triggered breath. There's no issues with target, but there is an issue at the end of inspiration or the cycle phase, therefore, this is a cycle desynchrony. Taking a quick look at the flow scalar, there's zero flow here. Up until this point, you can see a nice decelerating ramp, therefore, you know this is a volume control ventilation. You see an exhalation phase right here. Continuing zero flow state, you can see inspiration down here. You see a small exhalation phase here, followed by another large exhalation over here. Finally, looking at the volume scalar, there's no volume here. Volume increases up to this point, then you get a small increase in volume up here, then you get exhalation. Continue along, the volume increases, there's a small loss of volume here, and then a large loss of volume right here. In the subsequent videos, you'll realize that in order to fix any desynchrony will involve manipulating various trigger, target, and cycle variables. For example, the answer might be decrease the inspiratory time as a way to fix the desynchrony, or increasing the inspiratory flow may fix it as well. However, realize that there is a pro and con to changing each of these variables. For example, you might need to increase tidal volume to fix a desynchrony. However, increasing the tidal volume may put the patient at further risk for volume trauma, or a volume that is currently outside the recommended setting of six to eight cc's per kg of ideal body weight. Also, fixing one desynchrony may result in developing a new desynchrony. So just realize that there could be more than one approach in addressing desynchrony. And finally, remember that the initial approach in addressing desynchrony should not be to increase sedation. There are a lot of adverse effects for increasing sedation, but the first step would be to try to manipulate the necessary variables. So that's it for the introduction to desynchrony. Watch the next video so we can delve deeper into trigger desynchrony. Thanks a lot.